This is my cable twist bracelet. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. And in today's video, I'm making a cable twist star band bracelet. And I actually already made a YouTube video on how to make a cable twist rubber band bracelet. Um, it's kind of the same design, except in a more advanced way and a more neat and clean way. The last time I did the cable twist, that was for beginners. This one is more for intermediate to advanced people. And anyways, let's get started. So you're gonna be taking your band and go from here to here, and then here to the other side. And then basically you're gonna keep putting your bands on both sides all the way down your loom and stop here and here, okay? Then we're gonna take our two bands and just connect them like this. So this is how your loom should look. Okay, let's start with the placement of the cable twist band. So you're gonna put it from here to here, or just to that, and then you're gonna put the same colored band from here to here. So we're kinda gonna make an X now, so put your band from here to here, and then after you've done that, go here to here. We used blue that was going this way, so then we're gonna go up with the same color. And no, it does not have to be blue, but it has to be like the same color you'll use for this. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna do the bottom right band. So from here to here, and then here to here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do the, the placement of these diamond bands, because I call them diamond bands. One last time. So we're gonna take our pink color and go up one, so from here to here, and then here to here. And then we're gonna do our blue, so from here to here, and then here to here. So keep continuing to make these kind of diamond things across your whole entire loom, and I will see you guys once I've done that. So I have made these diamonds throughout my whole entire loom, so it looks like this. I hope. I hope it looks like this. And um, yeah, so I know it looks really complicated, but if you know how to do these diamonds, then it's not that complicated. Anyway, so now we're gonna be doing our hooking process. Okay guys, so I just flipped my camera around so um, I could show you. So we're gonna double loop our band so one and two, so it's double looped. Then for the cap band, we're gonna keep it on here and here, so let's do that. So this will be our cap band. So it looks like this. So now we can go ahead and start the hooking process. So flip your loom so that the cap band is facing you. So we're gonna hook all our single chain bands that are on the loom. So for me, that's white. So whatever color that you have that represents white, that's what we're gonna hook. So these ones that are on these two sides. Okay, so we're gonna take our hook and we're gonna pick this up. Sorry, I'm holding my phone and doing this at the same time. So it looks like this, and then we're gonna do the other side. and then we're gonna hook it. Like that. Anyways, guys, I was holding my phone and doing this at the same time, so it's really hard. So guys, um, I did this single chain hooking process on these two sides, so it looks like this. And back down. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do these last two. So you're gonna go inside all of your bands and grab this band that's right here and we're gonna pull it from here to here. Wait, yeah, so from here to here. And then we're gonna go inside all of these bands and grab this band. If you already know how to do this, then you can just fast forward this part where I'm explaining. Okay, so we've got it like this. So we're gonna go back down our loom this is how my loom looks again. Okay guys, so um, 
we're gonna hook this band right here. So we're gonna hook from here to here. And remember we placed our bands like that kind of thing, so we're gonna hook the same way. So see this band now? Oops, wait, not the pink one. This blue one, we're gonna go inside this band and grab this blue band that's on this pencil from here to here. Now, we've done it like this. Now we're gonna go down one pin and see this pink band. We're gonna get this pink band from here to here. Okay, then we're gonna go inside this band and see this pink band that's all the way at the bottom. We're gonna grab that from here to here. So now you may notice this pattern. So you go diagonal and then you go down and then you go di diagonal, then you go down and you go diagonal. And I know it's probably really weird, but yes, that is what we are doing. So we have got this. So we're gonna go inside this band and pull, and pull this from here to here. And then see this band? We're gonna get it from here to here. We're gonna go down one pin now, and then we're gonna hook from here to here. Then we're gonna hook from here to here. Then we're gonna take this band, so we're gonna stick our hook and go from here to here. Then, see this middle peg? We're gonna grab this band and go from here to here. So we have it like this. We're gonna go down one pin now, and we're gonna hook from here to here. There is a lot going on in this rubber band bricks, so you have to make sure it, your rubber band doesn't slip out of your hook. That almost happened to me, but good thing it didn't. Anyways, so see this middle pin? We're gonna grab this band from here to here. Then we're gonna go on this pin and grab this band from here to here. Then you're gonna grab this band from here to here. Then we're gonna go down one pin, so here, and we're gonna grab this band from here to here. Then we're gonna grab this band from here to here. Then we're gonna go from here to here. Then we're gonna go from here to here. Then we're gonna go down one pin and grab this band, oops, grab this band Go and go from here to here. Then we're gonna go inside all these bands and grab this one from here to here. This is what we have so far. Um, we haven't done too much yet, but um, yeah. I'm gonna show you guys this just a few more times because it's really hard to keep explaining this and explaining this and explaining this. So basically, what you do is you're gonna hook from here to here, here to here, and then you're gonna go here to here, here to here, down, here to here, here to here, and then here to here, here to here, down. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys that one more time. Okay, so we're gonna go in this pin right here. We're gonna go inside all these bands and go from here to here. I almost lost track of where I was hooking. Anyway, so we're gonna grab this band from here to here. Okay, so we're gonna go from here to here now. Then we're gonna grab our band from here to here. This is what I have so far. I think I've done about half of it. So you guys can do the other half. I'm, and yeah, I, I showed you like about a few minutes ago what to do when I kind of explained it. So rewind if you don't understand, okay? And make sure you leave off on, wait, wait, wait. So what did I just do? I went from here and then here. Okay, yeah. So make sure you rewind at this blue where I go from here and then down, okay? Anyways. So, see you guys once I've done the whole hooking process down my loom. This is how my loom looks now that I've done the whole hooking process. Okay, so see all these bands on, wait, let me get closer. Anyways, so see all these bands on this pin? We're gonna connect that with one single band. So here's my one single band. Okay guys, so here's my whole loom. 
and I'm going to stick my hook inside and I decided to show you from this angle that way I can film and do this at the same time. Sorry if you guys don't like this uh, angle, but this was the only way. Anyways, you can start taking everything off of your loom now. I'm not going to take this off of my loom because I think you guys really need to see how that works when I take it off. Okay, so I'm doing this a little bit fast. And you need to have like the proper rainbow loom, kind of like my rainbow loom, because I tried it on my other rainbow loom that wasn't very strong. And uh, it kind of got bent together because of the tension from the bands. So you need a rainbow loom like this. Okay. So let's add our extension now. But first, here you go. This is how it looks. Here you go. And then here's the other side. It's reversible. So here's this side. And here's this side. <laughs> I like, I just, I just stretched it. Anyway, so my extension is going to be white. So I'm going to fast forward the extension part. So when I was doing my extension, this band that I had, it kind of broke off for some reason. So I added it back on, but this is an extra band. So if you have extra bands like that, you can just uh, cut it off and I will show you guys how to do that. But right now we are gonna be adding our C-clip. And I would have used an S-clip, but for some reason, I don't know where that is. I'm. I left it here and then I don't know where it is. Anyways, we are just clipping our two ends together with this C-clip. So this is how my bracelet looks. Thanks for watching today's video on how to make a cable twist bracelet. Remember, it is reversible. So this is one side and then this is the other. So yeah.